And she's always wearing fur. Yay, you're on tea break. Now wading through Calmont to find you. There you go. Oh, it's our babe. That's all right. Oh, and I found these really nice wellies with a wedge. That your inquest outfit? Ross. I'm sorry, it's my fault for prattling on. Just trying to take your mind off things. <clears throat> Where's Mum? She said you were going to help me dose that sick cow. I hate doing that, man. She was uh, fast asleep on the sofa an hour ago, so I bet she still hadn't moved. You what? It's nearly midday. Yeah, I know, and you don't know when she took her pills. So... What pills? I don't know. They were next with your, um, Daisy Max or something. Well, I thought you'd know. What do you mean, she wasn't moving? Did you check on her? Don't tell me you just left her there. Well, no, because she was sleeping, wasn't she? She looked like, you know, normal enough, right. I think. Yeah, don't panic. Well, why don't you say anything going on about yourself as per usual? I shouldn't answer him. Oh. oh you OK? What? Mum, why didn't you answer your phone? Uh, it's on silent. I was having a nap. Where are they? Hey. Layla told us about your pills. They're for anxiety. I researched. <sighs> what pills? What have you been saying? Sorry. I, I saw them on the table. I'm sorry. <sighs> now you dreamt it, love. And you've no right to go sneaking around my house. Oh, Mum, just drop the act. You can tell us there's, there's no shame in it. If you block us out, we can't help. There's nothing to tell. I've no idea what she's on about. Well, why would I make it up? Look, we're just worried about you, that's all. You've been under a lot of strain. You spying little... Oh, well, there's one way to find out. Get off! Well, if she's telling porkies, you've got nothing to worry about, have you? What are these? Work stuff. Blank prescriptions just floating round in your handbag. Yeah. Shoot me down for being flaky, but my husband's just died. You're not at work. You haven't been for weeks. These aren't yours. They've got Dr Kavanagh's name on. Wouldn't be the first time you've lied to us, Mum. <sighs> OK. OK, I got some pills for a decent night's sleep. That'll teach me to be responsible. If you want me to fall apart at the inquest, then fine. No one wants that, Emma. Did I judge you when you had your antidepressants? Uh, that's not what is happening here, Mum, and you know it. Did you nick these from Dr Kavanagh? Yes or no? Not listening to this. That's what druggies do, Mum. You need to have a talk about all this with Dr Kavanagh. Like, he's not going to think badly of you. Oi. Are we keeping you? Uh, yeah, what Pete said, Mum. We're big boys now. We don't need protecting. If you're struggling, Emma, we just, we just want to support you. We don't want to be busting you out of the cop shop for prescription fraud. There is no we. You're not part of this family, you patronising. Hey. No, it's OK. But I don't need anything. I know all about grief. I woke up with it every day for years. Years. Mum, stop it. No. These are such a massive deal, then they're gone. Only way to keep your meddling noses out. We just need to get through this inquest. I shall start to calm down. 